This is Escape Pod. Visit our website at OutbreakPodcast.com. And now here's your hosts, Tony Brown and David Anthony. Hello, hello, hello. Hey, Tony. Mm. What's up, buddy? Dude, now that I've seen that intro and it's been so long, I look really weird without a mustache. I've grown so used to it now. I know it. I know it. <laughs> hey, look who we got with us. That's Eric. Hey, who is that? Eric. What's up, big sexy? How you doing? Now I got to leave glasses on. I can't see. All right. <laughs> <laughs> How you guys doing? Oh, man, Wonderful. we're great. We're great. We got a good subject to talk about tonight, and we're looking forward to that. And uh, let's see here. What, what else can I add? Oh, oh, yeah, let's go over here to this one and add this at the bottom. And we got, boom, 13 oh, hey. Slays Till Xmas, now on Blu-ray and DVD. Blu-ray oh, Blu Blu-ray only. Blu-ray only? Well, I'll, I'll have to fucking edit that right now. <laughs> <laughs> let's see. Let's go to hide. And yeah, uh, don't worry, this is this is all going. We're we're good. I can edit that's, something. That's pretty funny because until I got you guys um, the thirteen slaves, I never owned a Blu-ray, so I couldn't open the fucking case. I thought I was fucking stupid. I'm like, is it I'll, just pop I'll open? Be honest with you, <laughs> I did the same thing. <laughs> we had, I mean, I've got Blu-rays, but I was like, um, I I looked at it several times. Then uh, yeah. So I don't feel bad. Well, just so you, let me let me get my copy over here and, and show it to you. That little that that piece right there that yeah. flops out. You can actually once it's open, you can actually just break it off and throw it away, and then you oh. never have to worry about that. Right. That's what I do. All mine that are like that. Uh, oh, thank enough. you, David. Thank you, David. <laughs> I just realized it actually says open too. So now I'm extra stupid. O p e n. <laughs> Open. Welcome to Sesame Who Street. Who knew, Tony? Who knew what that meant? <laughs> Look what I can do. Look, it's pretty. It's there beautiful. It hey, let's see. Let's see if I can find one of mine here. Hold on. Let's see. Where's mine at? Well, see, I bought a copy to support the uh, campaign, and then um, I gave my copy to Tony, and yeah. then you, Eric, were nice enough to buy me a copy. Because I helped with the behind the scenes, which I thought was great. Thank you so much, sir. Yeah, so. I ain't buying shit from you assholes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you can see mine, but mine is signed. It Ooh. is, it is, it is. But I, I see it doesn't have my name on it because I'm, you know, <laughs> in the movie and <laughs> don't know it has that. It's really, you know, it's. Yeah. It's. Could just, you see? Could you see who it was signed by? Oh, uh, what? I'm sure PJ. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Jeffrey Reddick. Nope. Who? Jeffrey Red. It was a joke. <laughs> I, will, I will knock you out. I was going to say, here, somebody like, you know, Russell Grow. Well, that's great. He went in the movie, but he's not. <laughs> you, know, you know me and Russell. <clears throat> uh, I know. I Russ. know. <laughs> he, he does. He does. You guys are really close. Yeah. Like, you know, some special effects guy in Hollywood. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> well, a few. Just a few. One in particular. Yeah. Yay. Well, cool. Well, man, let's uh let's let's get into it. Let's uh let's let's start this thing here. Uh I'm gonna I'll do something a little different. Dun, 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 can I ask dun, you dun. a question, David? Of course. You can sure it's my show, but go ask what do you want. Did you did you did you uh you, you see how he said oh, my what? show? He's just like oh. fuck you, Tony. <laughs> Somebody's hollering for me, I gotta go. <sighs> Did you did you catch your other cameo? Sorry, Tony. I love you. The other cameo? No, like I was shot where I wasn't supposed to be, or something. Yeah, remember I told you. Did you see it, Tony? Yeah. I know. Yeah, so, well, you you whoever not you that was that was that was actually PJ's. I think he was the well, director I'm not, I'm of that part. Any blame on? I'm not putting any. He blame told me on you. like, oh yeah, you're be able to shot there. Just sit there. Okay. It was just PJ was <laughs> editing it. 
And he stopped for a second and he looked up and he's like, wait a minute. Sure enough, man, if you hit pause, I mean, there you are sitting in the background. There's shit sitting on the table. It's hilarious. I'm like my camera equipment. I'm like, this is cool. And then then you moved and you said something or you smiled and said something to somebody or something happened. (laughs) Or you smiled and pointed or something. And it was like, yep, that's David. (laughs) Well, it looks like PJ's trying to get in, but I don't see an image for him yet. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, Oh, yeah. It's it's, it's just Uh, a sit and spin. Um. That's his favorite thing. Oh, is it? Okay, well, we're gonna we're gonna we'll bank oh. him right there until I see. No, I I pulled him back out and and, and see if oh, I see his if really? off it. Let him <laughs> pull out. Jesus Christ! I'll oh, put him back in if you like. Good. Oh yeah. Well, well, I'm just saying it. I, until he actually shows up. Uh, maybe you know, if you keep is, pulling him. Maybe if you pe- keep pulling him in and out, something good will happen. <laughs> <laughs> wow this is definitely a mature episode oh i'm sorry man no 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 i'm fuck i already said stuff that's all right <sighs> well dude this is a perfect time for you to segue into that now that you're starting your only fans page you can tell everybody about it <laughs> exactly well, exactly. well pulling it out. Yeah, you, you of course eric <laughs> it's all you baby well pj you're there in spirit <laughs> we see him trying to connect Miniature Oldies by Eric. <laughs> I mean, I mean, he could, if if he's on his phone, he he can turn off his Wi-Fi and just try and connect through the you know phone signal source. Yeah. But uh, but that's Tell okay. How them goats? Um, everybody's doing good. Um, we're down one. We unfortunately lost one last week, but oh. You know, illness? That's, that's what's that illness or um, freak accident. Um, he, uh, he got he got caught in the fence and. Oh, man, that sucks. Yeah. I hate to hear that, man. Yeah, but but everybody else is good. We're uh, we have 15 now. Started with three. Now we got 15. We, uh, yeah, we this, got if it's, this COVID shit wasn't going on. I was going to uh, hit you up to bring my grandson out there, but. Yeah, man. Once once everybody gets clear and you know, oh yeah, everybody, yeah. Uh, especially me. Once I feel safer, we definitely, uh, you know, I'm I'm jonesing for people to come around and yeah, I can't wait to hug people again and <laughs> yeah. man, it's yeah, it sucks. Well, it's he's only, fifteen. He's only fifteen months old. He wouldn't appreciate it right now anyway. He'd yeah. get a kick out of it, but he wouldn't remember it. <laughs> well, that's half the neighborhood kids around here want them to bring the you know goat one day here and just. You know, yeah. pull them out in the front yard and just let them all come up and pet him and stuff. But uh, we'll work on that as as it gets more COVID clear. Maybe next summer. Yeah, hopefully. I'm I'm tired of. I mean, I never really went anywhere anyway, or like really did big social gatherings. But it's everybody man, when, Dave's house. <laughs> when I don't even see my family, that's that's the shitty part, you know. Yeah. yeah but as long as you get to see me, I mean, come on. Yeah, that's true. I've been around. I've been around my mom and dad a lot. That are eighty-two and eighty. Well, dad'll be eighty-two Friday. But I mean, you know, and I work at the hospital where I'm around a lot of stuff. But I've kept telling mom, dad, well, you don't need to be going out and eat. We'll go to the store for you. And they just they're like, okay. And then you know, talk to them. Where, where'd you go today? Oh, we went to Walmart and out to eat. <laughs> okay. Yeah. You know? Yeah, I think you know, the old timers like, uh, they're just like screw it. I'm I'm old. What's yeah. the worst is gonna happen? I mean Yeah. My dad has his cloth mask and he's got mm. a hole cut in it for his for his pipe. <laughs> that uh, that works. For him it does. Yep. Yeah. 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 All right. Well, let's uh, we'll see. PJ tries to come back. He, he, All right. He jetted off, but we'll uh, if he comes back in, we'll we'll add him to the mix. We're definitely okay. going to try and get him. It's it's not that we're uh, we don't want him here, um, but let's uh, let's start talking about. There we go. We got the, I got the trailer loop there for the background. It's uh, so we can have that playing. Exactly. Exactly. And. Uh, so wow, this uh, this project. I mean, here's the shirt uh, that I wore for the original uh, project, right? Which was uh, uh, Volumes of Blood Three, and it just 
just couldn't get off the ground because it was, I mean, it literally it's going to be a bigger budget movie. And then right. uh, you guys got this idea for, uh, I think y'all have been kicking it around for a while of a, basically a, a Christmas themed horror anthology. Mm-hmm. And then, uh, and then just things kind of fell into place. And, um, and uh, e- even one of the episodes, I, I guess, or one of the segments, I should say, is uh, was written and directed by you, which is pretty yeah. awesome. Hey, yeah. that's something new for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, you know, we tried it. and tried, and uh, you, Jad, I've just talked. We just we got tired of talking about Volumes of Blood Three. Um, it was just every it just seemed every corner we turned trying to get money. Um, it, it, it didn't matter what it was. It was either so many other people trying to get money for their films or somebody said they would come on board and then something happened and they didn't. It just seemed like one thing after another. And PJ and I, he's, he had a couple of ideas that I wanted to do down the road. And uh, so we just started talking about other projects kind of. And then um, he had mentioned this one before to me and he just kind of brought it back up and you know, he's like, I wonder if we could get the people that gave money for, you know, Volume of Blood Three Devils Night, if we could get them to come on board because we'll work with other people and you know we won't need as much money and um, it just worked out. He, um, I got to give credit to all of that to PJ and he was the one to contacted all the other directors and movie production companies from around uh, to get them together to do this. Um, it was a bit of a challenge. Um, but you know, it's just like the other movies we worked together on. I was pulling my hair up, losing sleep, stress out all the time, but my God, once I see it on screen, it all makes it worthwhile. You know, and to yeah. me, it was really stressful, worried about other people that I didn't know, or we didn't know doing what they did when I know what we can do. And then, then us, it meshed them together, you know, but they had criteria that we had set out that they had to meet, and uh, we had some we had some walls along the way, like we always do. But they always end up working out, and uh, I mean, I'm I'm super proud of it. Um, you know, PJ did some of the writing, and um, then I wrote one of our. We did four of them here in town, and I, I wrote and directed one. Uh, my first time on both. Um, I used the word directed lightly because uh, I needed a lot of help being first time and. Uh, I realized trying to produce and direct at the same time is a nightmare. <laughs> I'll just be yeah. honest. Well, you don't give yourself there. enough credit. I was there on the set. Well, I, you worked your ass off. You really did. Well, but I mean, I'm proud of it. I mean, you know, there's things that I see that I wish had been different, but I'm, I'm, I'm super proud of how it turned out. Um, the people that came on board to be the actors and how the uh, effects turned out on, I just think it looks really good. And I, I just, I, I'm, I'm super proud of it. I'm just, I'm just, uh, negative toward my own stuff. Sometimes it it takes me a while to be okay with it. (laughs) Right. You know, was that the first time you decided like, Hey, I'm going to sit down and I'm going to write this story or did you write previously and just never put it out there? Well, I mean, I've, I've creative writing, done a lot of creative writing when I was in college um nothing really for like screen or or uh, a play or anything but a lot of poetry and just some weird stuff that i wrote that i had to for class so i was always kind of into it but it was kind of pj's thing when i came along and i was more the business side and uh the one good thing about us going to festivals and stuff like that we we talk i mean if it's a four-hour drive it's four hours of us back and forth it's great business getting stuff done and i had thrown this idea out there to him a couple of years back that I had had and he liked it. And uh, then when it came up, this came about, he goes, Hey, would you want to write one for this? And I said, you know, that just happened that, you know, it was a doll and we could make it into an elf, which is Christmas. And so it kind of worked out that way. Um, the directing, I was a little bit iffy on, but I was like, well, if I'm going to do it. I might as well do it. So, and PJ uh, was like, you know, all for it. And I knew PJ was going to be there in the background. And um, a lot of people, a lot of talented people we work with would be there for, you know, their eyes and ears and help me out. So, I mean, even though I was still nervous and stressed out as hell about it, um, I knew it was going to be okay because people weren't, oh, PJ, you know, we weren't going to put something crappy out there. 
So, right. But it, it was just hard when on set, it's like, you know, should I be doing this? Is this right? You know, but, uh, but uh, some of the writing um, PJ kind of changed a little bit and I went back and kind of changed again. And <laughs> we kind of went back and forth with it. And he said, fine. He goes, let's just let ride. So far, so good. It's gotten some pretty good reviews on, on yeah. my segment. The whole thing has gotten a lot of great reviews, but right. I've had some people, I've had some people individually reach out to me and, I uh, really gave me some praise on it, so I'm, I'm proud of that. Awesome. Well, well, I was uh, I'm gonna, to brag, but I was being there on the set shooting some of the behind the scenes, and there was um, one of the effects. Um, you, know, you can probably talk more about that. That you know that you had it in your mind one way, and had the effects set, start set up to do it one way, and then when you were the day of the shoot, when it was actually there and in the camera. It just wasn't working, so you had to change that a little bit. And and I thought, for on the fly, coming up with another kill, as it were, yeah, uh, you did a great job, and it works so much better than what it was looking like before. I mean, yeah. it was a good idea before; it just right. wasn't practically yeah. wasn't turning out. And, so, and that's one thing that was good. There was a couple of things that kind of were a snag <laughs> on set. Um, where it was like all of a sudden we hit a wall. Oh, well, we're going to film this way. This isn't going to work. Well, if we do that, then this isn't going to make sense later. And then I would just go, uh, uh. <laughs> luckily PJ or somebody's a background. Well, how about this? And I'm like, oh, cool. Yeah, let's do that. That'll work. And because at that time, man, I was just, my brain was mush. I was wore out. And I just, luckily they were there for a couple of those things. Um, one of the things uh, might be what you're talking about was the ending. I think so. Yeah. yeah. In the bedroom. Yeah, that was the original story. That wasn't the ending. PJ's ending was more of a uh, big twist. Um, and then um, logistically, the ending that we were going to do just was going to take too much time and wasn't going to work. And what you're talking about, it just didn't look right on camera. It was yeah. it, it, the way it was being done. It just wasn't looking good. And, and it wasn't. And, uh, so on the fly, we had to kind of change it. And it kind of made it, an, you know, a kind of open-ended, ambiguous ending, which I'm okay with. Yep. It wasn't the ending I really wanted, but whoever suggested it, I don't remember if it's PJ or Alex or who, I'm okay with it. And I think it's fine. Uh, it wasn't what I originally wanted, but I, like I said, with it leaving it opening ending, I'm, you know, PJ likes a good twist. But, you know, I think you can use your imagination on the ending of mine of what's going on or not going to happen or going to happen. So I kind of like that part of it. Well, I think it turned out really well. So no, and it thank was you. I appreciate it. Gary Annette is that particular. Yes. Yes. Yeah. 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 Got to I gotta give uh, kudos to all my actors and everybody that helped. And um, Cassandra coming on and doing the makeup. Um she had to bring some reality to me with the makeup a little bit. And at first I was having a hard time grasping. And then after she started explaining a few things about um, the doll's structure and stuff and then what she could and couldn't do. And I'm like, oh, I see what you're saying now. So luckily she was able to turn it into something that I liked. And I, I, my ultimate goal was creepy. I just wanted mm -hmm. it to be creepy. Uh, you're not necessarily scary or gory. I just as long as it's creepy, makes your skin crawl, makes you jump, whatever. That's what I was going for. And so with our back and forth with that, I think Cassandra did a, a great job doing that. Um, I'm, I was really pleased with how the makeup came out on that because um, it wasn't originally what I wanted, but she put as much originality that I, she could in there to make it work. And um, I'm super pleased with what she did. Um, so, yeah. Um, but. Uh, well, the, 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 the doll, the elf on the shelf kind of thing. Yeah. And then the makeup that she did, mm -hmm. it really, I mean, obviously, you know, if you held them up beside each other, you might see some oh, yeah. differences. But, oh, yeah. but the way it was in the movie and the way it blended, you can't yeah. tell that. It looks. Yeah exactly like the doll would look if it right. was big and coming after you. And that was cool. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. And the, the, the stairs, the one stair scene, somebody added in, um, 
was a pretty cool idea. I'm not sure if that was Alex or not. And the scream you get there was Alex's idea um, with the, the hair movement and her yeah, screaming yeah. and that button. And that. And that's in like, the trailer. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, I was like, what are you talking about? <laughs> and then when they did it, it's like, oh, okay. Now I know what you're talking about. I'm like, yeah, oh, that looks, that looks cool as shit. I, I couldn't grasp what he was trying to talk about before on that. So, but it, yeah, yeah it, it looks really good. So we'll just see it up here in a, in a minute. It'll, it'll, it'll come around yeah, where you see the girl by. screaming at the camera and then her yeah. hair is just, yeah. Yeah. Yep. And a good zoom in on her, on her face. And it looked, it looks really good in the actual movie too. And it's, you know, it's all in context, I should yeah. say. So, so yeah. So that was, um, I guess, um, let's maybe talk about, um, some of the obstacles you had to get there. I mean, like, here you are. Okay, cool. Let's, let's just whip out this easy little, um, anthology movie. And then, you know, wow, global pandemic. Yeah. <laughs> what the hell? Wow. So, uh, yeah. some of the things you had to go through for that. Well, I mean, this was actually supposed to be a Christmas in July release yeah. back in 2020. Yep. Of course, uh, uh, you know, COVID re reared its ugly head, and so that didn't happen. Um, then um, it was supposed to be a Christmas release in 2020, and uh, COVID didn't disappear. Uh, but we were able to film during that time. Um, yep. it, it, I don't want to say it became costly, but then you're, you're buying disinfectant, you're buying gloves, you're buying masks, you're buying, you know, hand sanitizer. Um, you know, you're having to get more chairs for people to sit around You're the stress of trying to make sure people are wearing their masks and they're, you know, not sitting side by side and trying to get people not to sit in the same chair or sit in the same chair. I'm saying, instead of Tony getting up and then David, you sit in his seat and then it hadn't been wiped off yet. Uh, that was kind of a nightmare, but you know, we, we, we made them sign a clause that, you know, you had to wear your mask, you had to put on your gloves when you're doing food. And I think we did as good as we could have. There was some stuff that slipped through, but you know, the only people that really weren't wearing the mask were the actors when they were on set, everybody right. else was wearing a mask. And let's so, be honest, Eric, if, if, if Tony was there, he'd be sitting in my lap. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> uh, I wish I could have been there. I mean, you know, I got presented now, Tony, an opportunity that. Yeah, I, Tony, I know, man. And, and, and I so hated there it. Is. I didn't even think about that at the time when I said, Hey, let's bring Tony on. And it was like, Oh damn. Cause I know, I know you wanted to be involved and I saw, I hate that man. So yeah. one of these days. Yeah. There'll be other projects, man. Yeah. Oh yeah. So if things take my fat ass in the movie. I'm sure you'll be in here someday. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, yeah, that was that so. was one of the most exciting and disappointing like <laughs> 20 minute text conversation that I had with David ever in my life. Yep. Yeah, I was so excited I and I was just like, shit, no, I can't. I'm I'm too scared. I won't feel comfortable. Yeah. And this was early on too, when it was yeah. God knows what was gonna happen. So yeah. Yeah, but I mean, yeah, it was a challenge. It was a challenge, and it was a headache. Um, luckily, my next door neighbor, they were very cool with us coming in there. Um, the bar was a very open spot. Um, KWC, we, we filmed four of the segments were filmed here next door, my neighbor's house um, at Milligan's Bar. Uh, that being open and then being closed, we didn't have to worry about a lot there. Right. KWC became a challenge because they had their own protocols in place. And uh, so we we had a backup plan. But by the time we were filming again, they were letting us on on campus. So we didn't have to worry about that. And then the other one, of course, was filmed pr pretty much outside. But we used uh, Henry's Plumbing, their building, you know, to uh, set up and do everything. But uh, it yeah. worked out. It was stressful. Everybody came together as troopers like they always do for us, worked their asses off, did what was asked of them, and just did an outstanding job. And uh, like I said, I'm, I'm super proud of uh, how it looks. I mean, I just I just love how everything we keep doing just keeps getting better, better, and better, and better. And I'm just afraid we're going to get to this point where <laughs> we can't get any better. Hopefully that happens, but... Right. You know, but I'm super proud how this came out. And the, the, and the nine other... Uh, companies and directors there's just so many to name they just i mean I'm, I'm beside myself on how they all turned out and how they look um 
but uh, I was really shocked um, at some of the ones that came through. So, yeah, it uh, it really is a good it's a good mix. I mean, it's a uh, yeah, and it does have a flow to it. It uh, you yes, know. yeah, it does. And, I mean, uh, I, there's the, you know, there's a little gore, you know, like mine doesn't have any blood in it. Right. But there, there is gore and, you know, it's everything's got something to do with Christmas. And, you know, you got a little bit of everything in there. And you're right. It does flow very well. But that's uh, I think that's uh, because of PJ's writing with the um, wraparound. Yep. The I wraparound that that works out. really good. Yeah. And uh, he, and, he and did a good job. He's got some um, some talent he's pulled on from before. Uh, in other in the, in some of the other movies that you've done, the volumes of blood, some of the actors right. that he that pulled in, uh, mm-hmm. Jay and them, and and then the, mm-hmm. I think one of the one of the newcomers was the the lady who played the bartender. She was fantastic. Katie um, Stewart. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And then and then the uh, protagonist, um, you know, she was she's amazing. You know. Oh yeah. So she was, I, she was great in horror stories too, as well. Yeah, exactly. Well, she, <laughs> some of the things she had to go through in horror stories was, you know, ball gag and all that it was like, whoa, what? <laughs> yeah. So yeah, uh, I don't think she was too upset about that. I, mean, <laughs> I didn't kidding. say anything, but you know, I still have that, I still have that ball <laughs> gag, by the way. <laughs> I'm sure you do. <laughs> it's in a prop box, David. It's in a prop <laughs> box. Right. Yeah, of course. Yeah. <laughs> Not that you use it, strap it on, whatever. <laughs> What was that allowed? I'm sorry. Oh, did you say something? No, <laughs> not at all. Is this on? Is this on? Mm, no, no, it, it, uh, too funny, too funny. So yeah, are so ready, are you ready to write another one now? Did you get the bug in you? The um, I've always got ideas in the back of my mind. I got a couple of things I'm kind of working on logistically. I don't know how they would pan out. Um, one it would be a lot easier than the other, but the other one has some. Some location details, it might be a stretch to do. Um, but yeah, I've been working this one, I've been working on for a while. It's changed a little bit. Um, I don't want to say it's a serial killer thing, but it's um, it's got a lot of twists in it. Uh, well, not a lot of twists in it, but it's um, it's not just a thing you don't really, I think, see coming, I think, in my opinion, or I don't, I don't know how to explain it, really. That's all right. We don't um, really give too much away either. But Yeah, uh, no, I'm not. Like those it's, kind of things. Just, it's just one of the things. It's just I think the, the, the logistics of it with some of the locations may be an issue. Um, the other one I worked, I'm looking at um, would basically be just on a college campus. So, like, yeah. would you, you know, if we could work with Brescia, KWC, or OCTC or something like that and get their students involved, that would be fine. Um, but there's just a couple of things. I mean, well, I, I think one or one of them I may have mentioned to PJ. I don't know about the other one, but um, I'm going to take a vacation this summer and, and I'm going to try and put them down on paper, or at least one of them. I've got one of them partially started. Whether we ever do it, I don't know, because there's there's a couple of movies of PJs that, um, you know, of course, we'd love to do, you know, <laughs> Devil's Night, you know, but, you know, where yep. that's at. And then well, uh, it's not dead. Uh, so. There's still a chance someday, right? Yeah, and then um, he's got another thing kind of up his sleeve that uh, we may be a follow up to this. It's not a part two, but it may be holiday themed. And then he's All got the right here we go, St. Patrick's Day, <laughs> <laughs> no Columbus Day, David. Come on. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> but uh, you know, then he's got the to die the the to die list, which is a a movie of his that's. It's it, it's a good mix between slasher, horror, thriller, yeah. kind of. Got some good twists in it. And I've liked the story from God. This was, damn, six, seven years ago he told me this story. I've been wanting to do it since then. And it's, uh, but Volumes of Blood hit, and then we've been, you know, following that trend. So, but right. uh, I don't know. We'll see. I mean, I might, I might put them on paper and let him read them. It might be something we'll do down the road, but we'll see how that goes. Right, right. All right. Well, let's uh, let's talk about the. I guess the uh, the the is now out. It's available on uh, Blu-ray. Um, I know that uh, probably some things in the works. I know you can't talk about things, but uh, digital versions or things like that, or maybe a, a streaming service someday, hopefully. But uh, yeah, streaming is coming. Cool. Uh, I honestly have no time frame for you there. I have right. no dates on that. Um, Somebody, um, we may, um, 
there may be an exclusive kind of a deal with streaming that we're right. kind of waiting on. And, um, and until that happens or doesn't happen, I won't know any dates or know right. what plat- what platforms it's going to be on and when. I do know it's coming, and that's about all I can tell you right now on that. Well, uh, but yeah, when that it's, happens, it's, we, can, uh, we can get you back on for that. Yeah, it's selling pretty good. Um, I'm, I'm pretty uh, – I, I like the – I keep looking over at the box of them. I don't know why I'm doing that. Um, it's, uh, you know, I mean, we've uh, sold uh, – I think one went a couple went to Australia, went to Australia, Finland. Um, had a few go to Great Britain. Um, cool. Yeah, we. I'm, I'm pleased with some of the overseas that we've sent uh, or got orders for. Um, and there could be more um, that that I don't know of that um, Justin has done, you know, through Scream Team. Um, but uh, I'm just glad to see it's going overseas. So. Yeah, yeah I definitely. Think, I hope I hope that you know I hope Blu-rays, DVDs never completely go away because to me I it's agree. like with magazines. I just I love the physical, just to touch it and just have it. So when it's on my shelf, I can be like, oh yeah, I haven't watched that yeah. in a while. Let me pull that down. Well, you know, it's, it's true because I I can't see it over here, but I got a shelf full of magazines and books. And I stuff. love being physical with my media. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Sorry. like we didn't know. That. <laughs> Um, but you know, just to pick up and old, just like if you were like talking about, let's say, you know, the fog, for instance. Oh yeah, I've got an old Fangoria magazine. You can get it out and you yes. know do stuff like that, and, and and that's really cool. I miss doing that. I mean, I've got a lot of VHS tapes. Uh, There's just know. too many jokes I could make, you know that, right? So some but pretty it's... classics sitting yeah, right yeah. here in my computer. There you go. Some right. VHS that I got. Candyman. Yeah. Candyman. Mm-hmm. Village of the Dam, Reanimator. That's just a few of them down there. Candyman. Yeah, I guess. I guess it's just. I don't know. It's just. It's not Candyman. as exciting when you just open, you know, your laptop or whatever, and scroll and find a movie and push play. It just. It's yeah. not. This is not that yeah. experience to me. Is pulling something yeah, out, I agree. taking it out of its sleeve, looking at the awesome cover art. And well, putting the movie here, here's in. how. Here's how I look at that, Tony. Things anymore become such such a trend anymore and look what's going on with albums right now yep people yeah. are buying phonograph and buying and you're, you're hearing uh that place over in evansville that's got all these new ones coming out and all these old vintage ones that you can come get and they sell the phonographs there you know and i'm loving seeing that i'm loving yeah, that definitely so that's awesome. i like the vinyl becoming and seeing that's kind of cool though because just you know with the music that i just love just you know heavy metal punk rock music they never stopped releasing vinyl so to me vinyl never really went away just because of that like sub genre of music that i'm so immersed in but it's cool like seeing like when we used to go to books a million like there'd be brand new like whoever the artist of the day was was releasing vinyl i was like all right right, that's cool i like that yeah 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 oh the good old days but yeah but yeah, they um they've been selling uh pretty well. I'm I'm, I'm pleased with it. Uh, I I'm assuming they're doing well on from Justin's end. I haven't really heard. We uh PJ and I went to Nashville. I don't know about six weeks ago, and uh, we ran Scream Team's booth down there, and um that was pretty cool. Um, selling our own movies and then selling other movies that he's done and people that we know as movies and um. It was good getting to talk to people about our movies, you know, even though we, we've done booths for ourselves. It was just really cool doing that. And we sold quite a few down there. Uh, considering it was open and COVID was still going on, I figured we were going to sell like five movies the whole weekend. Uh, you know, I mean, total, not just ours. And we sold like 50, I think. Awesome. And nice. I was real. I was really shocked that, you know, and that's total, not just ours. But I was really shocked that we sold 50. I didn't really. And we were kind of stuck in a corner and i but um it worked out so nobody puts baby in a corner i'm trying <clears throat> sorry i couldn't resist yay well yeah, dude thank boy. you so much uh for being on today and uh thanks for talking oh, about over? the uh <laughs> well, well <laughs> your part kicking is. you out is what it sounds like <laughs> yeah i'm done go ahead bye <sighs> Dick. Wow, man. 
<laughs> so I would say it's good having you on, but there you go. Yeah. Oh, boy, be, let me throw the video back on. So are y'all, are you, oh, go ahead, go ahead. I'm sorry. No, 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 go ahead. Well, thanks for having me on. I appreciate it, man. I wish PJ could have been on here too. Well, well we, we did try. Say. There's, there's yeah. video proof that we tried. He's just a little swirl. I wouldn't got to said three. I, w- I wouldn't got to have said three words, but. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's okay. I had to get, I had to get that dig in. I'm sure we'll have him back on again with you and uh, and yeah. future uh, podcasts. So don't worry about that. Uh, he'll, he'll be yeah. back on again. I, I do All think right. we have a like a three and a half hour PJ podcast that we had to cut down to, to fit it into our hour. <laughs> slot from years ago still laying around i think it was the first one it did remember you were sitting on the couch <laughs> in the corner you weren't even you weren't even allowed to talk then remember yeah god that, that was, was a while funny. back that, that must have been the... an edit that must have been an editing nightmare <laughs> man those were the days that would so, 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 a Tony, long you, way <laughs> Tony, you and your wife you and your wife have, have both seen it yeah yeah they love it yeah, so that was the first Blu-ray I ever watched. Like, I'm so far behind in technology, and David's always like, dude, at least get up to, like, 2004 in your life. Come on, you know. did, you, did, you, did you have a Blu-ray player? He does no, now. They, I do now, thanks to David, but no, I didn't even own a Blu-ray player. I didn't like, know I was that. seriously still watching VHS and DVDs. Which is nothing wrong with that, but there's some no, stuff I that just, the only way we could get it was on Blu-ray, so I was like, here. Yeah. Uh, take my old well, Xbox like, One. <laughs> like with some companies, they're they're like with Justin. I think it's like you you get too many things like DVD and VHS and Blu-ray, and yeah. it's like all of a sudden all you do is sell Blu-ray, and then you're stuck with all these DVDs. And yeah. um, so you know stuff like that happens. But you know, I mean, I had somebody contact me the other day wanting the DVD of this because the person they were wanting to get it to. <laughs> didn't have a blu-ray player and i'm like well no problem if they've got kids they probably got a video game they can play it on (laughs) they're like no she's like 65 i don't (laughs) their their kids aren't home (laughs) so yeah so yeah i'm just i'm just slow to keep up with technology but luckily david you know he's been forcing it on me so (laughs) i'm dragging kicking and screaming (laughs) don't it oh Oh, man well you see how long you saw how long it took me to get get my phone up and running (laughs) it was was a little while but that's okay at least you made it on for pj yeah Yeah, that's why with the podcast i don't touch any of the knobs or spinning dials or anything that's that's all david i send him a link and say here click this and then start talking and that's what we do make it as easy as possible so but thank god Streamyards is a a nice program to help out with especially the pandemic we we wouldn't be doing any podcast if it wasn't for Streamyard. so yeah but so I'm vaccinated. Go. I don't know how everybody feels about it, but just, you know, let's make the world safe and get back to fucking normal so we can hang out again. Let's do whatever it takes. Yep. I'm with you. Because I know everybody misses me. <laughs> yes. <laughs> wow. Just kidding, just kidding. Yeah, I'm 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 ready to be Remove back in the studio. From stream. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We're actually um um don't you lie. it out. Yeah, I was gonna say don't even lie that that's a studio anymore. <laughs> it it well it's a catch all at the moment because I haven't been needing it. So but it actually is this next uh, next month uh, we're it's uh, gonna take a month to to get so, it back. And we're actually making a few little changes in there, but yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be back to be usable form. It's just a matter of we're still going to probably, I'm going to do another year subscription to stream yards just to, cause there'll be people that don't want to come in. Or the nice thing about this is we've had a few guests on like Rich Davis, um, who's in Nashville and he's been on several times talking about his uh, comic book series, which is amazing. And, um, cult of vampire and a cult of Dracula. Sorry. Vampire thing. My head's <laughs> been in. Sorry. Cult of a Dracula, a vampire, saga and uh boy it's uh, it's awesome and uh and he, we wouldn't have been able to you know to get him interviewed without uh without this remote you know type thing so it's it has its purposes and it's you know like i said eventually i'd definitely would like to get back in the studio yeah. with guests and stuff but um until everybody's comfortable i'm i'm good with this i think it works so yeah. Yeah. Well, we good get back people. in the studio we're bringing fireworks and shotguns and whiskey and strippers. It's going to be great. I mean, just like Tony's on a Saturday night, but but broadcast. <laughs> Look what I can do. 
Oh, I'm still there. I thought I unplugged my phone. Okay, nope. I'm good. You having fun, Eric? <laughs> what? Are you having fun? Yeah, buddy. Yay. Oh, you're still recording. <laughs> of course. I just not noticed that. Well, yeah, we're not uh, finished. We're going to wrap it up right work. now. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm going to play our outro. So uh, thanks for joining us. Eric. We're professionals. Right, and uh, well, you, we'll post that. you too, man. Definitely. Hold on. Don't go anywhere. Even though I'm going to cut this off and we'll talk to okay. you in a second. But uh, thanks for joining us on this episode of Escape Pod. See ya. Life. <laughs> Thank you for listening to this episode of Escape Pod. If you enjoyed it, please like the episode and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you would like to be a part of future podcasts, then email us at outbreakpodcast at gmail.com. And be sure to visit our website, outbreakpodcast.com, for more episodes, show notes, photos, and other podcasts on the Outbreak Podcasting Network. That's outbreakpodcast.com. <laughs>